Lenty friends, I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today we're going to repot these two philodendron silver sword, otherwise known as philodendron hastatin, together. And I do recommend repotting in spring rather than in winter because in winter the plant may not be growing as fast and may not recover as quickly compared to the warmer weather that the spring brings in. The first step is to remove the plant from its nursery pot and to get rid of all the excess soil. I generally use my hand to pull away the excess soil and if the root here or there breaks, it won't really harm the plant. Or the other option is to use water to gently pull away the soil. I just prefer to pull the soil away by hand myself. The next step is to use a potting mix mix uh, that consists of 60% premium potting mix and 40% perlite. If you didn't want to use the perlite, you can change it for vermiculite or pumice or uh, cocoa peat. It's up to you what you prefer as long as the soil mixture is well draining but still maintains some moisture. Once I pop my plants in the pot, and this pot has a plastic totem because I plan to make sure that the plant climbs up the totem so that the leaves become larger because with philodendron, the higher the plant grows up, the larger the leaves become. Once the plant is in the pot, I will backfill the pot with the soil mixture, making sure that I try and get rid of all the air pockets. I gently push down on the soil to make sure that the plant is securely in the pot. I also use a chopstick to go around the pot to get rid of any air pockets. Once that's done there, I can tap onto the pot just to make sure that all the soil is going down and to get rid of the excess or any air pockets. Then I just use Melbourne tap water to water the plant. So I don't feel it, I don't think philodendron are fussy when it comes to water type. So tap water is fine. I just make sure that I thoroughly water the soil, making sure that the soil is not soggy but just moist. Then I pop the plant into an area that receives a lot of bright indirect sunlight and is warm as well. I never pop philodendron in direct sunlight because direct sunlight can burn the leaves. And then I go back to my normal care routine with philodendron where I leave the soil completely dry before I thoroughly water it again. So that's how to repot philodendron silver sword. I hope you enjoyed the content and it was helpful. If you did like it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so more plenty content can be created. I hope you all enjoy the rest of the day and if you have any tips on how you repot your philodendron, I'd love to read about it in the comment section down below. Have a fantastic day. Catch you all next time in the next video. And thank you so much for watching the video. Bye.